Okay, I just got this uh, cartridge in. This is a uh, DSP-1 cartridge, oh, meaning it's uh, in the same family oh, Excuse me, as uh, Mario Kart oh, and some others, but Mario Kart's the main one. Uh, pilot, pilot wings and etc. Oh, so here's the um, cart that came out of it. It's a um, 2K 3X. So the 2 means it's got two mask ROMs here. Uh, the K means it's high mapped. The 3 means it's got a 64K SRAM. And then the X means it has the uh, MAD decoder. In this case, the MAD2 decoder. Anyways, this is an original battery. Uh, since the game was uh, 94, I'm going to assume this thing was made in 1994. Um... And so that makes it, uh, let's see, 6 plus 24. That, this makes this battery 30 years old. And it is an original battery, never been touched. So, um, anyways, I'm going to do a, uh, I'm not sure if I can do this with uh, one hand. So let me... Maybe something to hold the phone here. So, okay. All right, multimeter, cart with battery, 30 years old. And let's see what the voltage is, if, if any. 3.097. That's So that's almost 3.1 volts. Um... 30 years old, still holding memory, 3.1 volts. Um, now, lithium batteries have a very uh, sharp drop-off curve. I mean, you know, when it, it'll hold its voltage until the bitter end, and then it'll just drop off sharply. So you don't really know what the expectancy is, but, but this battery has certainly gone way beyond, you know, its uh, expectations. So, so that's pretty incredible. And then while I'm making this video, um, so I have a couple of carts to show you. Let's see here. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. So, all right. So this was Mario Kart. Uh, it's only 16K memory, so it's a 1K one. B, you know, the B means it uses a regular decoder, you know, the 139. Um, but anyways, uh, the mapping of Mario Kart, and by the way, all the DSP games, except for maybe four, are all high mapped. So Pilot Wings is low, and then some of the dungeon dungeon games are low, but um, a couple, uh, baseball games low. But other than that, almost all of them are high mapped. And none of them are bigger than two megabytes. And so, but um, if you notice, the Mario Kart uh, PCB has got the slots for 36 ROM holes, you know, so it's got, it's got a 32 pin ROM now. And then you got these extra four here for 36, which means it should be capable of four megabytes. And so it kind of begs the question is why why are there no Mario Kart hacks bigger than one megabyte? Because this can clearly map up to four megabytes. So anyways, so I put my um, mask ROM adapter on the back and um, and then put a game on. Uh, my dirty pens in my console. It's always dirty. Well, okay. Probably need to clean them better. Oh. Why isn't it running? Okay, well, I was going to show you that uh, Mario Kart, uh, not Mario Kart, 
uh, Donkey Kong 3 was on it. I had it running earlier with the save. And uh, why it's not running now, I don't know. But, but um, I think I think I still have just 30, 30 pins. But at any rate, um, I'm pretty sure that... Um, or maybe I erased it. I probably erased it. That's probably what I did. Anyway, so just ignore this last minute of the video. Uh, but anyways, I did put a, um, a 32 megabit, a 4 megabyte game on here, which is Donkey Kong 3. I kind of use it for all my testing. And it did indeed work. And it did indeed save. And so, and if you know anything about the high mapping, uh, the way the high map works is the... The decoding is absolutely identical to a regular cartridge, you know, that doesn't have this, you know, DSP chip. And so the mapping just taps one of the other pins on the decoder, you know, to, to run the DSP. And so, um, so it makes total sense that it would, you know, handle up to four megabytes because it's the exact same mapping. And the DSP is just triggered with a different combination of inputs on the decoder that that normal games, standard games, you know, don't don't do. Anyways, it's um, I'm a little uh, bummed that this thing didn't didn't turn on, but uh, I must have erased it or something because I played this uh, for a while the other day. So, anyways. The low map games, uh, it's a different story. Um, so this one's a low map. This is, um, I don't know, some dumb game. Oh, this is a SD Gundam. So I put, for whatever reason, uh, the low mapped DSP games are throwing a fit when I try to program them. So um, I don't know why. I'm sure it's with, you know, having to do with the decoder, but. But um, uh, anyway, so this is also, you know, a high map game with 64K, you know, SRAM. And, but this game here, okay, this cartridge, um, even though mapping, it's capable of 4 megabytes. The uh, pin here, pin 46, which would be uh, A21, is not. Uh, it you know it doesn't go anywhere. There's no traces to it, and so they used a twenty, which is uh, forty five, to bank or to decode between the two ROMs, which are you know one megabyte each. So there was no reason for them to bring a a twenty one you know up up anywhere. And so if you tapped a wire you know onto this little pad here, and then put it you know on the on the decoder, you know, where A21 normally, you know, solders onto, then then you would get the full four megabyte. You'd have to do another, you know, you'd have to do a couple of, of cuts up here and a couple of jumpers up here on the mat too to, so to get it to recognize only one ROM and, but, um, but anyway, so it's, it's capable with, with a couple of modifications. Uh, and then Donkey Kong, of course, is, um, uh, well, it's 16K uh, SRAM, but, but most games are 64, and so that's why this would not be an ideal test bed for DSP games plus, you know, plus regular games. But uh, anyways, um, that's it. But uh, yeah, I was pretty, pretty stunned. With the battery, you know, 30 years old, you know, still going strong. That's that's pretty amazing. You know, I mean, that means that there's just no no voltage loss. You know, these these SRAMs here, you know, even being made 30 years ago, you know, were ultra low power. So that's pretty amazing. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, so yeah, I did erase this. I guess I was. Um, uh, gonna put something different on it, but um, anyways, it's the same cart, same, same one, and I just uh, reprogrammed with my programmer. 
um, you know, my, my retro circuits programmer. Uh, just put the game back on, and that's how you can see that it works. And my, I wonder if my saves are still here. Let's see, they might still be here. Um, I'm on. Yeah, yeah, my saves are still here. So, okay. So, anyways, yeah, just just an FYI, it does work. Um, you know, Donkey Kong will never trigger the DSP to to do whatever it does, um, just because that coding, you know, is just not part of the game. So the DSP processor just is just gonna just sit there dormant, you know, not not used. But you know, if you were to program Mario Kart on here, then then uh, it, it would activate the DSP like it, like it should. Mm. Anyways, but putting like Pilot Wings on here, which is a low map game, you know, it, it wouldn't even run. And so, because the, for whatever reason, the low map on like every game that is low mapped is is different from the other. It's it, it's really bizarre why they why they did had so many variations of low mapping, but but that's just the way it is. So, all right, well that's it. I'll stop the video here, but I just wanted to show you this battery, okay, the one I talked about earlier in the video. So this thing was manufactured in the third month of 1994, okay, so this, you know, that's the real deal, no replay, not replaced, original cart, original battery, just uh, the date code, you know, that says it all, so... Anyhow, okay, that's it.